in the lane as long as they're hitting the CS. They just went to show that game. You can die 15 times as a team in the laning stage as long as you're farming, as yeah. long as you're getting the creeps out of it. It doesn't matter. So they're just very focused on making sure they have lane control, that the lane's in a good position. It doesn't matter if they die as long as they know that when they respawn, the creeps are going to be meeting underneath their tower. It's sort of these little things uh, that work in their favor. And secret? Gonna get that Monkey King out. Another hero is sort of a, uh, well, akin to some of the other similarities between these two teams. You know, Monkey King is being played by both of these teams. They both love this hero. We saw Liquid do it a lot at uh, MDL. Uh, and Secret, of course, they've been doing it for, for pretty much forever. Mm -hmm. So, Monkey King in and the PA. That's another one. Both of these teams are horrible PA pickers. And Liquid <laughs> will get it through. It's, it's up there with Viper for me. as one of those dirty, dirty heroes that just wins games. And, and I love that Liquid have picked it. I think this really helps their draft. Suddenly, you're going to have this point in the game where Undying sees Sap in strength. And PA just comes in with a big crit. And he's easily going to be able to one-shot some of these heroes. He is pretty nice, too, because you can adjust the tempo through the item build. Like, if you are going to be your team's main win condition late game, you go battle free. If you need to fight early, yep. you get your Vlads and your Desso. So I like the fact you can pick it here and then adjust the way you play the hero based on, you know, what Secret's doing or how the game's going. If you pick a greedy last pick or if you pick something yep. that wants to fight. <clears throat> so um, PA is kind of flexible in that way. Yesterday, after Secret picked uh, Monkey King, they did uh, go for the PA and the Necro, so they gotta they gotta change it up. They also had a Puck support. You feel like that is still an option because Puck support with Monkey King, like even a Puck core, the Monkey King ult with the Dream Coil, you know, is pretty neat. Keep him in place, and Keep yeah, they're, place. they're just stuck inside that Wukong's command. Um. It's pretty annoying here for PA who can, you know, wants to kind of go in and out of fights a bit with the blink strike. You, you get dream cold. You suddenly can't. You can blink out, but you're going to be stunning yourself and yeah. a lot of damage. Hmm. It's a possibility. Um, I think it'd also be played, I guess, in, as a core for them theoretically. Um, yeah, hmm. it all depends on what Lashrek is gonna is gonna be uh, doing in this game specifically, I guess. Yeah. It could do with a bit more team fight, I'd say for sure. Ooh, Venge. We've seen Venge mostly mid yesterday, haven't we? Keen Gaming ran it mid, and then they ran it. They ran it two games in a row, I want to say. Oh. Um, I mean, imagine this game. It's you. You would think it's going to be mid one Monkey King and Nisha playing with Venge. I would say, wouldn't you? Um, for those two players. I, yeah, I have no, I'm not sure what they're going to do with the Venge. I feel like I've seen some teams only run as core, then some other teams also still running as a support. Cause and then, oh, the SA was run as a three position. Yeah. Um, yes. Team yeah. Gaming played it on mid 11, and, uh, right? Mid, yeah, correct. I, mean, no, mid and off, I right. would not mind this game if they did do Nisha on the Venge. You got mid one monkey, you got Puppy about, and you have Zion the Leshrac, and then you do, as you mentioned, slip in the Yaps or Puck as the final pick. Now you've got that swap dream core combo. That instant way to take someone out of the fight. I feel like they need, work. A, they need like a bigger carry though, maybe. Like Venge Monkey as your one and two position to me just doesn't feel like it's but I, scary. But I feel like you want to kind of play fast against Liquid because this P he is, I, I'm pretty, he's going to go the Battle Fury build. You don't want to lead to this point of the game where suddenly Miracle's online and he's, he's hitting these 1k, 2k crits. Yeah. You want to play fast and running sort of a Venge Monkey King, that allows you to do that. Especially with this mm. Abaddon Less right? You've got this sustain. Abaddon's going to be putting the shield on the Monkey King, allowing him to get in there and just do the damage early on. I don't know if you want to run this the, this game, the course, against the PA on Liquid side. But we'll see. I mean, as you say, there's still the potential that this is a support venge, and they do get something a bit heftier yeah. for uh, Venetia. The core venge is like, I, I like the tempo plays it, but it does always fall off. It, it, I mean, it will it put you on a timer. It, it absolutely yeah. does. It is a risk. Um, right now, they have a lot of issues as far as killing and dealing with this Necro, I still feel. Like if, oh, there you go. Okay. So they've gone your way. Get a big, they're, now they that have that big be. late game carry, you know, they're not going to lose the the late game battle just on hero matchup. Um, I think Liquid, you know, they have an entire pick to deal with this. Um, that Darkseer gets banned, it's okay. just an annoying hero that can build all those Crimson Guards, Greaves, items for the team. I mean, now if they can throw something else in with some Magical Burst, you have got the methods of killing the TB. The ET, the Necro, and a bit of Magical, bam, this Terrorblade is going to get blown up. But at the same time, one of the heroes that I have seen multiple times win games against, you know, pretty decently farmed PAs, it is when there's been a terror blade on the other side. This yeah. hero can work out very nicely with the amount of high armor he has. And the Lord is going to be picked, so a bit, a, a, a more emphasis on that magical, the control as well, sort of that lane dominance. Liquid, they can set up some dirty, dirty lanes here. 
Yeah, it's the same idea as the Dark Sea that was banned, where it's just like you're going to be able to mitigate a lot of the Terra Blades damage. Yeah, you're going to um, get that Crimson online for the boys. Yep. So, um, Owen, you uh, you start. You said earlier that you thought Secret was going to have the upper hand. Yep. Do you stick by that? I really like what Liquid's done with the draft, but I think I would have to stick with Secret on this one. The Terra Blade, I think, can out-carry the PA pretty easily, and it is Secret. They're on an 18-game win streak. I think it's going to be close, but I don't think Liquid's going to be quite able to stop them here. How are you, gods? I'm going to go the other way. I'm going to go with Liquid. This is their first major, effectively. They played at the second one with a stand-in without Miracle Love yep. in it. They didn't qualify for the first one because they were still in their post-TI break and basically chose not to really play. Um, I think Liquid's, they're back. They're, they're here to regain their title at the top. All right. I am going to go for Secret for this one, but most of all, I'm going to look forward to, uh, to enjoying the show. You know, get some tea out. And watch some uh, some Dota with Liquid Secret, commentated by none other than Sir Action Slacks and Bulldog. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the official Dota 2 Major, sponsored by Valve. And uh, here we are, Liquid versus Secret, buddy. Liquid at their full strength for the first time in a long time versus the recent Major winners. What are you thinking, Bulldog? Arguably the two best teams here. It's arguably. Be arguably the two I'm, best teams here. It's pretty exciting. Mm, I'm pretty excited. I can tell. Some pretty good heroes. Yeah. You know, and uh, I'm happy to have you as a co-caster because you're divine ranked, right? That's right! Yeah, so you're not like your Toby Scrub level, so oh. you actually know what you're talking Kinda about. Kind of unnecessary, but here we go. Admiral Bulldog, the game begins, and we get to start off by seeing that Monkey King be a donkey. Very exciting stuff here. Look at those items. That's a lot of iron branches. Is he going to sneak up and take the courier? We see that a lot. Do we? You sneak up, kill enemy courier. Oh, my God. You don't see him on the minimap. Is he going to man up? I don't think so. I'm a little worried. We have the, uh, the default courier here. So that's a little bit concerning to me, at least. Oh my God! Which one is real? Oh no, that's that's definitely Monkey King. Okay, I got it. All right, they, they see him. Okay, this is the most exciting part of the match. So, oh, oh, oh sweet Jesus, get out of there, baby! Mid one gonna be denied there as we go in for that rune. How important are the first runes? I know you're a little rune crazy, but do I you like want to rune. invade? It doesn't really matter to them. Not the first runes. Like if you lose all four, okay, you get a little bit upset. But if you lose three, one, like it's it's fine. Three, wow. one is fine. It doesn't matter too much. So you know, it's it's fine. It's later on when they give like a gazillion gold, then it matters a lot. Hey, Screpus, before this game gets on, can we see that PA set? I I ain't never seen that before. Can we get a zoom in on that bad boy? Zoom in, please. Yeah. Oh, way low. All angles, please. She got horns. That ain't lore friendly at all. Okay. All right. Well, let's get to the match here. Here we go. Thank you, Scrappus. Okay, well, we can't say anything. Thank you very much. All right. And it begins. Uh, rune count here. Secret, liquid, secret, and liquid. Okay. 50, we're even 50. up. All right, all right. Calm down. Okay. <laughs> Calm down. Go. Tell me about these lanes, Bulldog. How are we looking, buddy? Well, you first of all, I'm the Lord, which is probably one of the more annoying to lane against always. Mm -hmm. It's always super duper good against Terra Blade. It's going to reduce all of his damage, not early, because they kind of nerfed it. It's 4% level 1, I think, but, you know, it's fine. It used to be level 20% uh, level 1 or something like that. It's 7, okay, so it's still not too much, but... So what happens always terribly, he's going to lead the lane and hit jungle. Okay. You know, this is just how the here works. Now, am, am I so, crazy, but uh, what, what's happening over there in the mid lane right now? Is it yeah, things are crazy. going a little... Yeah. Oh, ooh. Get a little deep there. Is Monkey King going to have any chance against this Necrophone? Seems like an easy win for Necro. Well, he's not going to die, at least. That's for sure. Okay. You just click W, you can't die. If you can't die, you win. Oh. And yeah, as you see, you just click him non-stop. Pretty easy lane. They did change Necrophone a little bit, so he's not as strong. You don't have to reach him from your Q anymore. from your E now. So you got to max that up as well, but yeah, Monkey King will struggle. Usually he gets a, an easy lane though, but not here. Not today for Mr. Monkey. Gonna have a tough time over there, and as you said, a little bit of rotation down in that bottom lane. A fight for the jungle, if you will. Ganking that jungle very hard, but the, the mid is looking pretty strong. Look at that jungle gank, baby. You just can't... Oh, here we oh, go! Hold up. Great observers. Oh, no. Liquid Miracle in some trouble. The stun, the fun! And Team Secret, Disco Pony takes the first kill. Miracle already died. That's not good. Because there is the, the, 
the fortune telling of if he dies three times, you lose. What? Like, what? <laughs> if, if Miracle dies three times, they usually lose. So you got to be watch out for that. That's first death. So they still got two deaths to go. I wasn't aware of that. That is a fact. Okay. Well, I'll write that one down. Thank you very much. So what do you think about PA? Is she good? Now, I've been telling Purge that PA's been broken for a very long time. But, oh, wow. We're going straight on here. Is he going to die? No, he's not going to die, Bulldog. Open your freaking eyes, bro. That's a thick boy. He's going to waddle on out of there. No problem at all. P is definitely super strong, though. It's just that sudden burst you get. You die, and it's like, whoopsies. But they do have some defensive heroes, at least. Now, Alberon could just save you, and then you don't die. And if oh. you don't die, you kill the PA. A truly yeah. innovative description. That is pretty good. <laughs> that so, is insane. <laughs> uh, but Terror Blade is also pretty good against PA, because you got massive armor. And you have also the reflection, which makes her get some damage on herself, which is not good for her. Not at all. Well, it looks like things are going pretty okay down here uh, in this lane. Yeah, you're putting out a little bit of damage on that Terra Blaine, getting these, uh, not the, you know, the lane that he's really looking for, but I'm a little worried about this Underlord, man. Terra Blaine can rip through that thick boy. He can get in there. Well, Terra Blaine is... I mean, he kind of struggles against that hero because you have the damage reduction. You yeah. reduce all Terra Blaine's damage, and then he's not happy at all. No. So uh, definitely under the Lord is like one of the best counters against against Terra Blade. Although we could see that Abaddon, you know, make a pretty good impact here. We already got a double damage. Room, double so. damage is gonna kill him. <laughs> he's, not, he's gonna kill him, Bull Dog. Dig a lot more than that, but Terra Blade playing it safe. Getting out that uh, near ultimate, as I like to call it on Terra Blade. It is his ultimate. It is. It is. Okay. I mean, it's not, but it is. It is, yeah. Okay, great. How's top lane going? Oh, look at this. Yapsor a little bit uh, pushed out here by Elder Titan. Now, you were talking some mad shit about Elder Titan the other day. You said it wasn't as strong as it used to be. He's he got still... nerfed pretty heavily. Mm. From getting six damage per creep to three. That's half. Mathematically, you get like 40 less damage when you're running, which is a lot. Yeah. And it was kind of broken before, so to be fair. Like running in with 100 damage plus three shotting people, it was not fair. What do you think was the most broken hero in all of Dota history? That's a rune cam, by the way. That's a haste rune! Thank you very much! Looks great! Probably the most broken hero has to be Wisp, especially when it was released. It was kind of bonkers. Oh, okay. You know, a tether stun and stuff like that. Well, nice smack there in the mid lane. It looks like, uh, uh, you know, we were saying that Monkey yeah. King might not be having a good time. He looks like he's having a great freaking time. Yeah, you said he was going to have... He's going to lose. That's and now he's not nine, what I said. 24 16. <laughs> what is happening? Oh, well, Matumba Man, you know, we like him on those flashy heroes. And uh, not not the flashiest one, this Necrophos. You can't just stand there and have your putrid stink all up in his nose and hope that that works out for you. So I mean, there's a reason why Miracle is the carrier of this team. Mm -hmm. Give him the one that, like, the ultimate heroes and let Matumba Man just feed in whatever he plays. Because I don't think he should lose that badly. I mean, it's a Necrophos. Come on. Probably not. Kuro gonna be taking out Ban. The App Store. This we've been seeing a lot of this Lashrac get picked up for just this burst damage capability, and we are we are seeing it, man. Oh, he just killed himself. That's good. No, it's not good. Well, he got denied, so that's good. You. I'm not saying at home. We should move on. I mean, he goes back to base full heal now. I mean, yeah, that's, that's great. That's, that's I mean, great. you do that in Dota for sure. Mm-hmm. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> down at the top lane, here we go, Miracle, are they going to go for this dive here? PA, just suscept uh, susceptible to that magical damage in that beginning of the game. Throw some daggers out there, it's okay, old Papa Titan. They, they're struggling heavily, top. Dying is coming to help, but it, it might be a little bit too late, honestly. Bottom will be fine for Terrible, like he has said, like he can just hit jungle if he wants anyway. When you, like he's level 5 on Underlord now, which is going to be kind of annoying to deal with. So he can just go jungle. But top, top is the main issue now. Middle, obviously, as well. Like, he's losing pretty hard there. This made one monkey, which is probably one of the best on that hero, so... Yeah. Since the beginning of time, since the beginning of Monkey King, mid one has shown his excellence. Here's our rune cam again. That's an invisible rune right there. Thank you very much, Thank production. You. That is good to know. Oh, he got it. Thank you, Ice Frog, for those great voice lines. All right, middle lane, Monkey King, level six. He could go Roman, he could go Goman. 20 denies. Hello! That's a lot! For wow. a mid? Whoo! That monkey's working! Yeah, just click him. Oh, he's dodging the the death pulse. That seems pretty burn. broken. That is broken. Mm. 
the track here in top lane. A lot of pressure still happening up there. And uh, PA, uh, she's not doing too hot, baby. I don't know. I mean, comparatively to Team Secrets, she's pretty far behind. She's getting uh, decent CS, at least, and Vengeful as well. Like, we see uh, it's not going to become dead under farm, but we always see Seidel being kind of... They don't give him too much farm in this game, especially when there's going to be a left strike. We know Yapsu is going to take lots of farm, and this hero has become, a, become quite the beast. Mm -hmm. Especially with an Abaddon shielding and so much damage. And we see her melting, and wow. he's dead. Okay. I don't know what puppy or Kuroki. What was Kuroki doing there? Hey, Kuroki was just giving his life for the squad, you know? I mean, it's something that we call dangling the carrot. You kind of give him a few kills here and there, you make him feel strong, and then PA's critting you for half your HP in five minutes. That's a pro strat, right? No. Okay. No. Well, I'm just, you know, trying to... Yeah. Well, this Necrophos is a net worth right now against Yaps or 2100. I'm worried. And all the cores are outforming. This is scary. Mm. This is not good. And he's going... Uh, what, an eight toss? We see eight toss a lot. This item is super great build-up. It used to be probably the most trash item in Dota. Yeah, it was awful. For a very long time. But now it's kind of broken. Because the build-up is great and just the cast range of it. It's 1,150 and it's so long. Out of all the do items in Dota that you could have in real life, that would be the most depressing if you just ended up getting an ATOS. What are you going to use that for? If you're chasing people. <laughs> if you're a cop. To, if you're a cop. It's like a taser. <laughs> it's, it's a really bad taser. They just get stuck in place and they can do whatever they want still. Yeah. It's not that great, I guess. <laughs> all right. Not a lot of uses there from the real life Rod of Atos. Meanwhile, to Mr. Miracle. Jesus. That's a nice heal there. Coming from Kuro. Just kind of watching his boy. But we got to see that PA start to get a little bit of a momentum here. It is not going to be pretty. Already sitting at 3 to 0. 3K ahead on Team Secret. Ooh. Really good rotation here as well. Like, you just send down the Monkey King because Terrible can't lane anymore. And Monkey King obviously being one of the stronger heroes against Underlord. And especially now that he's got such a giga game. He can easily just throw him out, and Yapsir also has a, even more farm than the mid P person. Uh, so he's just standing there as well. So you're going to have four cores this game. Okay. That's scary. Is this Look a dive right here? No, no, no. Taking it easy. Taking it squeezy. Here we go. Tombstone's down. Trying to get him back out. Zai on your revenge. Just casually walking away. But they're going to go on Abaddon. Still level four. Not even close. But here comes Daddy. The stick Necros of justice. Also. Oh. Necrophos old. Come oh. on. Here we go, baby. You're you need to kill that guy. Oh, it's a scary moment. And there's the swap. Great job by Zai. Oh. Oh, oh no. That's not going to be enough. Oh, no. Necrophos. Or is it? Yes, yeah, there going we go. in, but meanwhile on the back line there, mid one just cleaning up a triple, triple kill! Whew. That was a scary moment, bro. You saw that Elder Titan, he was like the dad to all those other kiddos in that lane, and then that other dad just came in and beat the hell out of him in front of his kids. This is terrifying shit. What is happening here? Is that just... That's just Yapsor. A team, a team woman just going in to die there? Holy wall! The Ops were freaking huge, bro. All right, driving the tower yet again. Mr. Monkey taking out the big daddy stick, and he is whapping that kid. Run, Kuro. That's a sad zombie going home as Yaps were level six now. Once the support, now the pusher, now the carry. Going I in thought, on the middle. I thought Liquid was a good team. I but they're losing, which means they're bad. Well, it's all in perspective. They might be losing now, but we got some time on Miracle. As soon as he gets that PA items, he'll be coming back into this game. Yeah, there's still hope. You can't know, but it's five key lead to ten minutes. They have four heroes at the top now. Yep. That's a support being more farmed than every other core of yeah. the enemy. That is a little bit worrisome. And look at his items. Those are scary items. Veil coming out there, massive damage on top of massive damage. Uncalculatable damage, as I would put it. And, uh, yeah, the situation gets a little bit worse for Liquid. Yeah, they got to do something soon. Because right now, mid one is carrying massive space. They need to get some Necro ult kills right now if they want to get back into this. Because meanwhile, all this is happening. Terrorblade is super farming and it's just going to get like Manta and Scatter or something and the game's going to be over. All right, still level four on Abaddon. It's their chance to try to get some kills on him. But Venge coming in with a nice swap and the save. Putting a little bit of stun out there for no reason, really. As they both teams walk away from each other like uh, kids at a high school dance. No action at all. And there we go. Tombstone, baby! Okay. They're going to chase them. We can get a kill here. They could. Puppy is not going to be lucky here. And zoop. 
Mm. God, that feels good. That feels good. Plus 15 seconds. Meanwhile, in the bottom lane, this guy's getting gigantic. I'm telling you, Bulldog. Is it, though? I believe it. That support is more fun than him. Well, he, I thought gigantic. I mean, he's getting there. This is probably going to be a bad situation. <laughs> Miracle blinks in on a creep as Terrorblade kind of saunters out of the jungle and goes for the easiest kill of his life. But can we see the jokes here today? Absolutely. Passive T. It just got solo killed by a right click. Terrorblade. Is that that seems pretty normal? They right click all the time. Yeah, but not by Miracle. And I feel like he probably could have TP there. Oh, well, maybe. I mean, you should at least try, because if he even finds you, you would just evade. There's a chance you can live mathematically. Hmm. And that's death number two, I think. So one more. You can just call it GG. Yeah, this game's number two, all right. I hear you, my friend. Team Secret, obvious lead here. 6K now as the situation gets worse. PA needs some way to deal with all this magical burst damage. He needs to find a way back into this game. But meanwhile, Terrible is just getting huge in that bottom lane. Pushing towers, pushing damage, pushing daisies on that other team. Yeah, well, we were. This is crazy. Gonna have Necro ult soon again, which means go kill someone. Very important. Uh oh, but he looks pretty dead. Mm. Maybe he can just run. He's just right. gonna casually walk away there. No big deal. The Pope of Pestilence will not go down so easily. Well done. At least Underlord has good farm. Thank goodness. And good he, if he just gets a couple more levels, get that Crimson Guard. All of a sudden, the enemy doesn't do so much damage. Yeah. No one no one dies. Hey, he's got himself a uh, Helm of the Dominator. If this was Artifact, he'd be winning this game. But it's not. No one knows what our, that item does in Artifact, because no one plays that game. Okay, that's unnecessary, but I'll take it. Here we go. Oh, Mr. Monkey going down on Elder Titan. Big pop. Going to be getting hit up. He's going to... Just kind of saunter away there. A little surprising there. Meanwhile, Kuro on the back line found something a lot more delicious. Mr. Bulldog, as they clean him up. Matumba Man, oh. aggressive TP, and that's a slice down on Tumby. That's can he get need. this? This is huge. Just if they can him. make it happen. Keep in. Oh, but yeah. He Come on, somebody get in there. Don't let mid one get away with this. He's so deep. He's so delicious. Give it a monkey. Oh. Give it a monkey. Oh, oh there we go. Oh. Beautiful. So satisfying right there. As we start to see something you happen. You thought the you. game was over. <laughs> I was telling you, there's Not still hope. Oh, well, there's also this guy to deal with. Calm down. Don't worry about GH. He's got plans. He's got a way out of here. Easy walk away there, and we start to see it. Perhaps Team Secret a little bit too aggressive with Mr. Monkey. They have 4K lead now. That's not that much anymore. You can't underestimate TI winners. You got to respect them. Goodness gracious me. This is how they won TI. Just like this. Just like this. I mean, I didn't watch it. That was pretty late. Okay, it was. I was tired. There's PA though. What's she building, Bulldog? Is that Battle Fury coming out there? You just gotta get that Battle Fury. Is that a Battle Fury? But look at her network. Holy oh. shit! That's a team fight, Bulldog. Tombstone's a down. Tombstone. Nice sleepy time coming out from Elder Titan and Mr. Terribly trying to clean it up there. Nice swap on the HP and everybody seems to just be backing off from each other. Meanwhile, the are just zapping them. Woo! Look at that Disco Pony. It is a party. Elder Titan trying to put him down before he can get away and there goes all that burst damage as they slowly start to get out. Going on top of our boy, Elder Titan. Don't leave him! No, oh, he's gone! Can anyone get out of that? Whew. The taxi picks up one, but just like you today, one is left behind. Yeah, they left me. They did. We told Bulldog the taxi was leaving at 11.30, and then at 11.29, we just left. Sorry, yes. buddy. I had to walk here. <laughs> Took about two hours. God, it was nice, though. Good Swedish air in you. You don't get to come here that often. There we go, Monkey King jumping on top of the entire uh, maybe team. Maybe a little aggressive. One. What is going on with mid one today? He's got He's... ultimate. Holy, oh. holy. Nice job there with the Reaper Scythe. Abaddon trying to save his ass, but just not able to do it. And Team Liquid, these team fights are just going in. Mid one's a little too aggressive, Bulldog. He got calm down. Overconfidence. He got calm down. Look at me, I got a triple kill. Now I just go all the way in, and now your team is dying. Rodomato's coming out and trying to catch Zai as much as they can there. Mr. Yapsor, though, blocking it up, and it is a panic at that disco as everybody starts okay, to walk down away. Now. Let's go back, get the tower. Uh, everybody stop diving. 
Bulldog, how do you stop getting excited in a pro game? I mean, this happens so many times. We see guys overcommit. They feel strong. How do you bring yourself back to earth? That's where you get the captain to come in. That's where you have Puppy to tell them to calm down because he's always calm. Puppy is always calm. We've never known Puppy to ever get upset yeah. about anything. Well, he's always calm and, like, very controlling. He is. So mid one knows now that he's going to get a beating, <laughs> which means he's going to play one person now. You, you kind of don't respect the timing it because all of a sudden Necro's got a mech. That's a lot of healing, and then you got an Underlord that just makes no one die because he reduces all the damage. That is true. Oh, the Underlord went to mech. Okay, all I right. guess the Necro has no items. He's got the eight toss at least. That's good item. And we are starting to see Team Liquid get their ground footing back in this game. 1K only. Whew. I told you. You didn't tell me anything. You said the, the opposite, Bulldog. I told you it's over when he dies three times. He hasn't. He has not died three times Miracle yet. Miracle still fine. Will he not die again? That is the question we will be waiting for here today. Nice smoke coming out. Very it's sneaky time. Bringing down the now. Are they going oh, Roche? Oh Just want to kill a Roche? Goodness okay. gracious! Trying to sneak out a Roche now. It's a risky proposition. Doing Roche against the other Titan? Not good. Lul. Uh oh, here we go. Underlord thinking about going in. He brings in the team, but they're on the other side of it. Oh no! Monkey King, all right in the center of that Necrophos, making his way out with very low HP. Here comes the fight. Boom! Shakalaka, Daddy dead. Uh oh, Terrorblade on the back end, trying to get that damage out, but Underlord catching him up there and a nice no. thunder. Oh, PA, today is not today, baby. Everybody TPing out, and then oh, they caught him. Necrophos. Oh, he up Thor. Yep, Thor! The Lord himself, the Pony Master! How? How did he see him, Bulldog? Did he cheat? It's a psychic! Your kid knows that disco poem more than anybody ever know how to play Dota's. He deserves a clap for that. Not ah. bad at all. Woo! Yeah, that looked really good for a liquid for a little bit. Then, uh, Miracle decides to go in a little bit deep, forgetting about terribly having a super farm. Yeah. And how's the ultimate? And then he dies. Miracle's got to step it up, man. He's kind of playing like mid one right now, going in a little bit too deep at the wrong time, as now we're starting to see the swing go the other way. But that's to be expected with two of these great teams playing against each other. We're going to see these very nice orchestrated team fights, and that's really a game of mistakes. And Miracle's got to play absolutely perfect now if you want to break the curse, because everything is against him right now. That's right. He's That's three deaths now, Bulldog. Does he have any chance of winning at this point? He needs to play like a god. My goodness gracious. A uh, small fact for you guys at home, Miracle was actually cursed as a young child. More than three deaths, he is nearly impossible for him to win. That's reported by our on-site reporter, Admiral Bulldog. Oh. He even died four times. If he dies four times, I think the game shuts off. He oh, then he can win again. What? <laughs> it's only specifically three. That is the stupidest curse I've ever heard of. Okay. Trying to get this Abaddon right here. He does have his ult available. So probably not going to be seen too big of a dive. But popping that ult does make the next... Whoa! What? <laughs> Nothing? Where did that come from? Who killed Wowie? Okay. That's not good. Pickoffs all day. Team Secret sneaking out two kills there. And another one on that... Hand him assassin, but now she can win, because that's four. Miracle's got to stop pretending now. I mean, it's five death now. You, you can't die as much. It's not good. Got to play maybe a little bit more safe. Can mm. still take these fights, because Underlord is... Like, look at his items. He's so tanky right now. Once he gets the Crimson Guard... Oh, well, they got to contest this. Uh-oh. Where's uh, the Titan? Our UAV over Roshan is identifying a fight right now. Oh, no! 200 gold! Out. He walked in the wrong neighborhood. This is looking pretty good. They got to do something here, but they don't know that mid one's on the back line waiting for this fight. Elder Titan getting the crap beat out of him. Smashed it. Woo! Who got that, Aegis? Misha? Okay, okay. Well, they got the kill, which is actually really big. Is it? That is a lot of gold. Remind me how much. It's roughly 2,500. Holy net, shit! Net difference. <laughs> That's crazy. That is very important. And the experience was lost there as well, so... Sure, you get the ages. Now you got to play it. Like, you could win these fights, but now with ages, I don't know. Now now you got to be a little bit calmer. All right, Rod of Eight. This guy's not calm. He's like just going in. He's a he's an angry boy. Tombstone comes out here. This is not calm at all. You, calm. Just calm down, boys. Oh, no. 
Mr. Undying is going to just be brought down pretty easily here as Nisha is going for the cleanup. Is he though? It looks like it, but they're taking it slow. They're taking it easy. Secret, as you said, Puppy is putting the brakes on these boys. Slow down. Calm the hell down, boys. And Secret got the game under control again. No, no need to worry. It's that Nisha who's uh, proven once again that he's uh, absolutely star carry, playing perfectly this game. Five and zero, almost Ooh. 15k net worth, Ooh. almost doubling. Miracle. Ooh. Those are some big words we're throwing out here. That's a strong narrative. That's Team Miracle. Not looking like Team Miracle right now. Not looking like Team Everybody But Miracle. As uh, another smoke gang comes out, they are looking for him yet again. These picks, they saw the warrants though. Oh, don't die again. You cannot die again. Don't do this, Miracle. Oh no, the blink is out. It is go time. Okay, we're good. Okay. They know they're coming. All right. Well, they, All good. They got this guy on terribly now. So if they just want to end the game now, I'm pretty sure they can. Just force these fights. And uh, Liquid, they should just try to chill a bit, wait for the Aegis to run out, and get the Crimson on Underlord. Mm. You just have that item, everyone's going to be very tanky. They you're, will be tanky. You're reducing uh, Terrorblade's damage by like 180 or something with the 40%? Like, you reduce it a lot. Which, and then you have the Crimson on top of that, like, you take no damage. It's pretty solid. Then you have Evade as well. If you can't die, you just win that fight. Easy clap. All right. Are we just going to... Keep naming items. What does BKB do? All right, so the tower is taken in the bottom lane as uh, Team Secret continue their onslaught. Now that Terrorblade is a big boy. Meanwhile, though, split screen that shit. Mind control taking a top tower. I can't seek a split screen. Take it off. We're okay. blind down here. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. Looks oh, like no. a Rex is going to be going down right that here. That is the worst they... possible oh. death. Oh, no. They need they got to stomp. They need him for the defense, and it ain't going to be a defense. It's going to be an offense. They're going in. The Swapperino is coming now. We can swap anyone, kill them. Oh, that's... Swap oh, there's the swap right on the biggest target. They could get Matumba Man, but he's healed up by the Undying. They're going to drop the ult. They're going to get everybody that they can. Look at that damage coming out from Midwood. Matumba Man still alive for a little bit, but he's going to be brought down by that Yap or damage and yaps are cleaning up again everybody's cleaned up this barracks is gone this game could be gone nisha has he even died can anyone stop him i just don't know that's a gg it's a gg that's a gg wowzers wow unprecedented victory well kind of precedented this happened a lot actually team secret beat team liquid again and I think they're on a 19-0 now. Holy. That's pretty good statistically. Yes, that is a prime number. So uh, what a game there, Admiral Bulldog. Oh, any wrap-up thoughts about that bad boy? Liquid had some hope there. Mm. It was that uh, mid-game they were kind of coming back into the game, but then the problem was Nisha was playing perfectly, and Miracle was playing awfully. Yeah, yeah. Uh, mid one went in a lot of times. He kind of overextended. Miracle overextended, but when it came down to it, I think Yapsor's Disco Pony, Mr. Lashrak, really cleaned up.